Hi guys, this is uh, my experience with Ethereum gas price, gas limit so far regarding ICOs. Um, this is a picture which I just got from the internet. This is not my Ether wallet. And yeah, basically, when you want to send Ethereum to another wallet, then you have to fill out basically the address, the amount to send, a uh, gas limit, and maybe some advanced uh, data. I mean, so uh, additional data, and you can choose the gas price. So actually, yeah, the most important thing is usually just the address and the amount, which you do when you want to send uh, cryptocurrency from. Uh, exchange wallet to another exchange wallet you don't have to deal with gas price and guys gas limit you just fill uh, uh, in the address and the amount and probably the exchange then will uh, set the gas limit and the gas price but if you use my ether wallet or probably another uh, wallet where you have private keys you can set gas limit and gas price and the thing is when here is um, what, what what I happened so far to me when I entered the amount to send it was filling the gas price I mean the gas limit automatically I don't know based on what it does maybe depending on the amount and gas price I have not found out maybe there are some other pages probably there are other pages which will tell you how it's filled out but I've used always 50 quay I don't know how it's really called here we have the page let's invoke the my either wallet dot com here's the empty page so it, this is how it looks course I would have to log in to have all the uh, send and receive I mean send thing so but here you have the gas price you can adjust you can pull uh, yeah you can move this around and with 50 it says maybe fast so here you can go down it says really slow and if you use higher it goes probably really fast so I always used 50 quay or yeah however it is called so and my experience is that if I filled just the address and the amount and used 50 quay so and used the default whatever my rule had said it was doing fine so I went uh, I'm I was participating in a, in a lot of ICOs and they say, suggested, recommended or even actually requested that uh, we were using very high gas limits like 200,000, 300,000 and such things and when I entered the address and the amount it was usually much much lower so I just tried this I thought yeah probably the default is isn't bad I relied just on the gas price and it really worked always good I had never a problem transaction went always really fast at the beginning I used a couple of times the high recommended value and I had the impression that the transaction was more expensive but sometimes they say they will return unused gas so I'm really um, not, not not really sure about this how this happens so if you're not sure the only recommendation from my side is leave this as default and adjust just the gas price here and usually it should work fine so what they sometimes recommend is to use the ETH gas station dot info this is a site which tells you probably how much traffic there is ar around and how much gas you should use to get the transfer done 
in the needed time so but um, this site looks a little bit complicated probably I would have to use um, some instruction but yeah it was a little bit disappointing to find out that it's not self-explaining at least not to me you can adjust the thing like confirmation time yeah so it seems when it's really when it's too low it goes down to 70 or it goes up to 70 17 minutes average confirmation time so probably it says now yeah one minute would be okay but what you have you use to use um, it's really hard to tell so for me it's not really self explaining so you here you have gas price category so I can't really help you on that but probably there's uh, I mean there is FAQs there are videos about this if you want to use that I never did so here I found another good source of explanation if you want to dig into that the miser wallet github dot io so it, there's a really good explanation what is gas so it says basically you're generating a transaction then it goes into some kind of pipeline and there's a pool where it the transactions are picked by the miners and then they process these things they put transactions in a block and add it to the real blockchain so but i don't have any deep technical understanding but there's a good description so about this probably i will have to look into that at some day or at least yeah when, when i get in trouble but at the moment uh yeah it's 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 really pretty easy for me i just do the default and till now it always worked fine so yeah hopefully it will stay like this in the future if you have any questions or any comments about this it would be great to have this in uh, our comment section we co uh, we can have a little bit of talk about it maybe i can help you or you can help me so if you uh, yeah i hope i was able to help you a little bit with that even if i was not um able to explain you all the details and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time